prologue. It was a normal day in Kansas 2012. Christopher Davis was a supposed sick kid. I say suppose because he actually didn't need these medicines. His mother, Jessica, was trying to brainwash him, but he would then find out. Being a smart 13-year-old, he figured what his mother was doing all his life. She was never home, though. She was always out partying, or at least he thought. While he was at home learning, he couldn't go to school. What happened to Christopher? What does his life store if he finally gets away? Chapter 1, Introduction to Christopher. Christopher, Jessica bellowed, you need to get up. You need your medicines. You see, Christopher didn't need these so-called medicines. He was perfectly fine, but his mother thought otherwise. Jessica wanted no one else but him to have her. She just wanted him to herself, so she made up things. She made up all of his illnesses and allergies. Jessica is known for all of her lying and greed, but Chris didn't know that. He thought he was a sick kid who couldn't go to school and had no friends. One thing his mother didn't know is that even though he didn't go to school, he found other ways to learn. When his mother would be out, he would sneak out for books in the library. He was a fast learner, so he checked out most of the books he could. He was so advanced by the time he was eight, he was reading adult biographies. I'm up, Chris growled. Chris wasn't a morning person. He didn't mind the medicines, but he didn't like taking all those pills. The only thing he was waiting for was his mother, Jessica, to leave so he could read and learn. After taking the medicine, Jessica said, Good, now I'm going out for the day. I'll be gone all day, so you'll be here by yourself. Okay, he said, just waiting for her to leave. Oh, and one more thing. The world is, Christopher cut her off by saying, A dangerous place, as well as knives, spoons, and fire, and people. I know. Okay, well, I'm going to head off. Breakfast is in the microwave, and if you use the stove, be careful. As soon as his mother left, he began reading book he checked out. I wish I didn't have to take all these medicines and be stuck at home all the time, said Chris as he continued reading. Later that evening when his mother came back, she had a box with her. In the box were security cameras. While Christopher was asleep, his mother put up security cameras so she could see his every move all day, every day. But his mother didn't know that he wasn't asleep. He was awake listening to her mumbles. Now I'll see his every move. I don't know why I took him. She thought as he was, she was figuring out the camera. Took, Chris thought. The words his mom said taunted him all night as he attempted to sleep. Took. Took. Took!